Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be showing you how you can boost your FPS on Genshin Impact on mobile and on PC. Before we get any further into this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe so we can keep making cool videos like this and let's get right into it. So open up your Genshin Impact on your phone. Let's go over that first and then you want to tap the Paymon icon on the top left to open the Paymon menu and now we want to go to the settings in that vertically aligned bar and now you want to go to graphics and here you can see the custom section that's where we want to go and here you want to set everything to the lowest so set the render resolution to low shadow quality low visual effects low sfx quality lowest environment detail low fps you can leave on 60 and if your phone really can't handle this turn it down to 30 motion blur off bloom off anti-aliasing taa crowd density low co-op teammate effects off and that way you have all of your settings on low and that will make your game run smoother because it's not that hard to load all of the graphics now once you have that done then you might want to restart your game so everything is accepted and works once you play again now another tip on phone is close all of the apps running in the background so that frees up some ram space so close every other thing you have open if you're only playing Genshin Impact only have Genshin Impact open now you can also use a third-party RAM booster on your phone that helps some people so if it's still really laggy you can try this out so you can try RAM booster you can just download that on the Google Play Store RAM booster a memory cleaner and download that and then once you have that opened you should see a rocket sign you want to click that and then that will clear up all the RAM space so your game can start running smoother. Now let's go over how to do this on your PC. So same process, go into the settings. So press escape, go to the Paymon menu and go to the settings, the gear icon on the left. And then you want to go to graphics again. And now we can change the settings. So the FPS you can set to whatever it's possible for your computer to get without lagging. VSync, you can leave that on render resolution 0.8 or you can put it to one if you have a good graphics card shadow quality you can leave on low visual effects lowest sfx quality is up to you environment detail lowest anti-aliasing smaa volumetric fog off reflections off motion blur off bloom off crowd density low co-op teammate settings off subsurface scattering off anti-sotropic filtering one times or set it to eight times if you have a good graphics card so that's the in-game settings. Now you can restart your game and you're good to go. Again, on PC, you want to have nothing else running. If you have 10,000 Chrome tabs open, that won't help the FPS. So you can close all that by going into your task manager, click Control, Shift and Escape. That'll open up your task manager and then you can close everything right there. Just right click on the process you wanna close and then click on End Task. Another thing you can do is updating your graphics driver. So if you have a NVIDIA graphics driver, you can download GeForce Experience and right there that will always show you the newest driver and you'll see if you can update it or if you already have the newest driver. Now on your PC, you can actually prioritize certain applications. So you could prioritize Genshin Impact so that runs more smoothly. So to do that, open your task manager, press Control, Shift, Escape. Then in the task manager, click on details on that tab top bar. And then you want to look for Genshin Impact.exe. Right click on that and then set priority, hover over that and then click on high once that menu on the right opens up. Another thing you can try is overriding the high D DPI scaling behavior. Just, this just makes your game run more smoothly. For that, you want to open the file location of Genshin Impact. And then in that file location, go to the properties so right click on Genshin Impact then go to properties and now in these property settings go to compatibility and scroll down to change high DPI settings so you want to click on that and now you want to check the box next to override high DPI scaling behavior and this should be performed by the application then hit OK and you're good to go restart your game and it should hopefully start running more smoothly so I hope this helped you out. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if it did. And I'll see you in the next one.